Good job, boys. That was fun. That was so fun. Yeah, right on. So I have been absolutely pumped <laughs> this fall. I've been able to get out for some winter riding. I was kind of pushed into it um, because some friends came out and visited Corey and Nick, and we were able and they wanted to get out and ride the trails in Cumberland, and I was pumped to show them. So I ended up going out on a pretty cold day. We got out there real early and did the whole climb trail and there was snow kind of halfway up the climb trail, kept going, kept going. Um, trudging through snow as we were climbing up these trails and got to the top, it was still really cold out. Um, if it was warmer, I might not have gone further, but we ended up going all the way up to the top of Blueprint, uh, which was a flow trail put in by Mark Matthews and U-Rock and the whole team there that was just amazing. Always loved that trail and felt like we could try it here since it was so cold, I didn't have to worry about rutting up the trail or anything like that, where if it was warm, I would have avoided it. Uh, I got up top there, yeah, sent it down this thing, got some great photos of them coming down, and yeah, I just had a really good time. It was just the right conditions. Um, there was a little bit of frost on top of some hard packed snow, and it was just go as fast as you can. The grip was unreal. Really enjoyed that day in general. Yeah, so enjoy this highlight of the day that we had and yeah i'll talk to you a little bit after you go 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 Good job. Good job, boys. That was fun. Uh, it's a ton of fun. Uh, some of the lessons learned I have from riding in the winter here, or early winter, is yeah, it gets cold. Early mornings are really cold. Conditions change so quickly out there. But uh, yeah, if you can tough it out, get out early in the morning. Um, what, what I found is if you can do the climb nice and early, get some lights out, get all the way to the top, even if there's snow um, on the island here, it's running zero to minus five when it's cold out. So it's not crazy cold temperature wise, but if you get the conditions just right where it was maybe a clear night, you get a little bit of what's called kind of a hoar frost developing on top of the snow. So the snow is hard and crunchy and it actually provides, as long as that hoar frost isn't too big, <laughs> uh, provides a ton of grip. It was really fun. We ended up doing a blueprint, which I wouldn't have taken them to if it was 
a little bit uh, softer. If it was later in the day even, um, you don't want to be tearing up these trails. So if you do, or what I've learned is if you get out early enough, you can enjoy the trails and not rut them up or ruin them. So that's always good for the trail builders. So got out there when it was frozen, a little grippy from the frost and had a ton of fun ripping down it. Um, yeah, I just felt like if I went again, I could have gone faster and faster, but I uh, really enjoyed that part of it. Uh, and then, yeah, there's been a few times I've been able to go out on my own. So you get out there pretty early, just after sunrise and start riding. And it just is really, really cool. You get to see that epic sunrises that we get here um, with all the colors as you're climbing. And then on the way down, you just get a really different variety of trail conditions. So it's a great time to yeah, work on some things. You're not worried about other people being on the trail because there's very few people doing this and it's just a ton of fun. So and yeah, that's it. So looking forward to doing some more winter riding. Hope you enjoyed the edit a little bit. And yeah, super keen for uh, December 9th, the opening day of Mount Washington. Got the skis and snowboards nearly ready and dialed and absolutely pumped to get out there. So yeah, check in the next one. Yeah.